Okay, now we have the uh, Tinsel Z fully assembled in there. There's the pod and the outer or ring wall and then the riser wall and the pod and the riser are together and that red thing is the riser vent and then there's a little bolt on there that I can use to pull up and down on the riser pod assembly and then there's the outer chamber and there's that this is the version 2.0 of the tinsel Z per pump there's the input reservoir the these three vertical black rods are the our tubes are the vents they vent from the top of this chamber to the top of that chamber to so that when this chamber pressurizes uh, it also increases the air pressure up here forcing this water up through that tube into the fountain and then from the cup it drains back all the way down into the pod chamber, into the central chamber right under where the pod is there. So that's the only way that water can get into this chamber is through there. And then the gas pressure as the pressure changes inside here is communicated to the top of this water which is then forced through that tube up back into the cup. Alright, so that's the pump cycle of the per pump with tinsel Zs uh, also known as the Heron's Fountain product placement version. Okay. So let's see if we can get it started. Uh, it's, this, this is a little bit harder to start. Alright. Probably have to give it a squeeze or two to get it primed. So that's what I'm doing here is squeezing the bottom chamber and there a couple of squeezes and then it starts okay so we got a good good flow there well we've got a really good flow there that is that's nice that's a nice arc I like that okay so we're flowing good and down here you can see what's happening here the water is coming up in the central chamber and starting well, it looks like it's already actually uh, uh, overflowed the central chamber there because of the displacing pod and it's starting to fill the outer chamber and lift the pod and riser assembly it's starting to just, I think it's starting, yeah, it's starting to slowly lift a little bit, and you can see the difference in the pressures in the wall heights there. The inner ring wall and the outer air chamber are different heights there. So, let's see, a little shake. All right, and of course, up here we're not, we're pumping nicely. All right. And uh, let's see what the head looks like here. So there's no problem pumping right straight out there. This looks like it's working better. Yeah, this actually is working better than the one uh, that I just showed, the very short one that I just showed before, with uh, no tinsel Z in there. In fact, it's working really good. So the pre-charge that I started with was just a little bit of water in there. There was some. It doesn't work with you if you don't have any. But I had maybe a half an inch of water in both of the inner and outer chambers there. And uh, yeah, the pod and riser are floating quite nicely. In fact, they're up as high as they'll go. So, um, are they? They might be able to go a little bit higher. Okay. But you can see that we've got the different water level thing going on in there. And up here we've got uh, starting to 
decrease a little bit. That's probably because we've hit the top travel stop there. And let's try that head measurement again. I'm trying to seal it against that grommet. Okay, so it's not pumping quite as effectively as it was when we first started, but it's still able to pump that full head, and it still shows the increase in output pressure with a little bit of head. A little bit of back pressure from the water head. Okay. So now I think we're, we've actually exceeded the range of travel of the Tinsel Z in there. So we're not seeing any more benefit from it. I guess, uh, and so now we're just pumping the, the ordinary perpetual pump, miracle pressure. Okay, so you see how that works? So this is externally plumbed now. So we've got the cup. The cup's only outlet is over here this tube which goes down and goes to the receiving reservoirs only inlet which is on the bottom right into the center into the central pod chamber defined by the inner ring wall and uh, then this is just a, a pressure sensing vent that we're not using right now and then from the top of the receiving reservoir there are these vent tubes that go through the sending reservoir and communicate just with the top of it. I guess you can see up in there. Okay. And then the so so increased pressure in here increases the pressure up here which pushes this water down and then through that tube up back to the cup to make the fountain. Okay. And the system I think runs on the different the differences in the two pressure heads and so we're not pumping quite so much now because this jar is almost full well, we've really got some differential pressures going on there what happens now because of the way my jars are is that the inner jar actually seals against the outer jar up against around in here so some strange th things happen when that happens but it's still pumping anyway Still pumping remarkably well, actually. All right. Thanks for watching.